and it flies! Welcome guys to another episode of Trailmakers and today we are going to be making an ornithopter and, and not just an ornithopter, we are going to be building an ornithopter dragon and if someone doesn't know, an ornithopter is a creation that flies without using any propulsion, like only with mechanics so I've never done an ornithopter before so it will be interesting I think it will have to have its wings to fly of course and I'll see how it goes so let's get to making it okay so I've got the basic programming in let's see if the flapping works oh, if I press space it oh I also have idea I will need to remove that uh, if I press space it should start flap yeah it kind of does let's try again it kind of it goes weirdly at the beginning but then it kind of fixes itself I guess maybe if I make the pole a little bit higher maybe it will work better and not hit the ground that would be nice okay this looks quite nice so that's the design for wings I think hopefully it'll be nice oh no did I yep I did do it again once when I moved the pole the one I accidentally selected those two okay let's try it now see how that goes oh that's nice a really nice animation. I need to do all of those steering hinges on the thing, and maybe it will be even better. Is it symmetrical? No. Yeah, it seems like it. Let's try it without the uh, anchor pins. Maybe extend this a little bit so it wouldn't flip as soon as I put it in. Let's see if it even flies. Okay, it can kind of lift itself off the ground a little bit. It doesn't have any kind of other stabilizing, so I'm not expecting it to be able to, but it seems to go straight, kind of, so I think it's good I'll get back to building the wings and see when I'm, I have more progress. Okay, so I had problems with doing this outer parts of the wings using the logic gate, so I thought maybe trying to set down the strength would help and let's see if it did. I sure hope so. Ooh. Ooh, this looks nice. Yes. It definitely does work and it doesn't require any logic. Now let's see. This thing can even lift off the ground with this. And it doesn't look like it yet. But it definitely can. Um, definitely does go forward, so that's good. Let's maybe try to glide. Um, well, we can we can throw it here. Maybe just to a little change. Okay, like this and remove the pole. And let's see if it can fly. Oh, and I don't need. I don't need these logic gates. I only need the two first guys. Two first logic gates are needed. Okay. Okay. This dragon, I will try to make it light, so that pole was kind of stopping it from being light because it was heavy. So let's see if this will work. We just need to get it to the edge to throw it off. Okay. this way let's see if this can glide or maybe fly if it's already up in the air wait for me oh, I just realized it doesn't have any kind of air control so it probably won't be able to do anything oh, why are you so weird please drop this Okay, that didn't work. And maybe I'll try again later. Okay, I'll get back to building maybe. Okay. 
Okay, so I spent hours on this, way too much time, and uh, well, let's hope that this flies finally. Just please fly, fly. Okay, you might not be able to take off. I, okay, I accept that, but maybe if I throw you off the cliff as I did a lot of times. Glide, that's for sure. But you cannot fly. You're not able to gain altitude. Oh my gosh, I don't want to spend any more time working on this dragon, so I think I'll just build a new one. I'm not gonna time lapse that because it probably won't work as this one. So I hope, I hope, it, I really hope it will work. Like this is definitely better than what I had before, but it can't fly up. It loses altitude all the time. So I get to building the other one. Okay, I built it and it already works. I was just I just got to the part when I finished the building and wanted to set the flapping controls for the wings so that it flaps. And it took off. So I decided that I will first finish all the controls and it flies. And it flown so like I didn't even have to do pretty much anything with it for it to start to fly. It just works. And can take off the ground and it's so amazing I spent so much time on this creation oh it the wings are on top but they don't hmm, it doesn't really turn off too well when I turn off the toggle I have an idea how to fix that but this is amazing and this works I can't believe that this actually works I spent so much time on this and it kept up and it kind of easy actually to make one I think that my problem with the last one is that I made it too big and too fat and too big wings and now that it has smaller pretty much everything it works perfectly I can just look at this like it's a kind of a bumpy ride but that's all I would expect from uh, flying on a dragon because that, that would be kind of bumpy and just I mean, like uh, wings, could you stop? Okay, no, okay. I really need to fix this. I don't want them to flap forever. Let's just quickly change that. I have an idea how to do that, so it shouldn't be a problem. I hope this works. If it doesn't, that's not a big problem. It's already amazing. Not, not, not end. Or, not, not end. Why, why do I keep doing this? I need an OR gate. Okay. And you will trigger those guys because they are the ones responsible for this flapping. Uh, I'll give you a space toggle and you get away and you. You will need to be output minus one. Now this should work. Um, Maybe let's get into a different cam. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. Seems to be working. Not 100 time percent times, but it works and it stops. So that's good too. Yes. I don't. This thing can't lift off 100 percent times that I try, and also roll is kind of weird. this but it's amazing can we go through that hoop of fire that's the real question the one that I already triggered by accident by testing this actually flies so yes it can go through a hoop of fire although I'm not very happy with this roll because it works kind of weirdly so I'm gonna have to I have no idea how to fix that actually so I'm just gonna leave it for now maybe if I lower it a little bit it will work I don't know 
or maybe if I give it to the front face it will be better. I could try that, just give me one second. Okay, so let's check if it's any better now. I added those to the front and reduced the back ones a little bit, reduced the angle. So also the entire pitch is made with the body. But the head sometimes doesn't really go the right way. No idea why. That should be an easy fix. Hopefully. Okay. Now this should be right. And let's fly. It, it sometimes doesn't take off the best. I have no idea how to fix that to be always working, so I just don't do this. I don't fix it. And I'll leave it like that. Okay, and let's see if the roll is b better. Okay, it's a bit better, still kind of aggressive. Still does some weird stuff, but that's okay. And I can glide. Roll while gliding works just normally. Let's see, can we make it through the hoop of fire? Again. Oh, and the head again goes in the wrong direction. That's not really a big problem. Yes, we can make it through the hoop of fire, maybe. Nope, I steered the wrong way. But that's amazing. Can we... I, I think I want to take off at the aircraft carrier and fly all the way to the helipad and try to land it. Because I put some suspension on the legs so that it would be able to land more easily. That wasn't a good start. Okay, that's better. Well, I know that it can for sure fly up because we are doing it right now. The last dragon was not making altitude at all, it was going down. It's not very easily controllable, <laughs> to be honest. But I think I will be able to make it there. Okay. Helipad, I'm coming. Yeah, this isn't the easiest to control, <laughs> to be honest, but I can deal with that. It takes some practice and you can fly it. Kind of. Okay, and now go up and I think disable the flapping. And perfect. Not even a scratch. No sparks at all. Okay, I think I will color this to now. Give it some color. Okay, so it's done. I think that the best color for a dragon is blue, because, well, it flies and the sky is blue. So, that makes sense for a dragon to be blue, I think. And it looks very pretty. It's blue, so... I think it's so neat. And, well, <laughs> this doesn't really change how it flies, to be honest. Oh, be honest but let's fly it again because I just can't stop I could do this all day I just love dragons and I spent about like 10 hours on the last one and it didn't work so this is just so amazing to me that this one does work okay maybe let's go and try it on the high seas map and see how it deals with wind I am not expecting to good results but let's let's go and see Okay, so we're here. I think the best spawn will be on the Mighty Mushrooms, because it's on something. Okay, I want to take this dragon as number four. Now let's build it. Wow, those mushrooms are big. Oh, that's interesting. It already is pushing me. It's taking me with the wind. Oh, I can take out. Take out. Ah, uh, fly. Fly better. I don't think this is gonna work very well. Fly, fly, ah, oh, damn it. Fly, fly act like you were made to be to do. Uh, this is not working out, but I never expect to do it. So, as I said, <laughs> the results weren't gonna be too good here, and they aren't. Let's see if I can fly against the wind at least a little bit. 
like we are flying sideways to the wind right now and we are flying against the wind and I don't think we can do it not right against the wind let's see can we fly yes we can fly it with fly with wind to our side that's that's good it means this dragon can at least a little bit fly in wind okay so the wind is nearly against us but we can still fly that's great yes we can do it this is amazing Oh, I want to try something. I want to go to the high winds and jump out of the water and, and change into a dragon. Let's try to do that. Where is my dolphin? Okay, it's under three. So I'll get there and I'll be back when I, when I get there. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's, let's get ready. Because this is gonna be... Really? Really dolphin. Oh, it's a big wave. Okay, I guess. Jump. Let let me jump. Fly with the wind. Oh my gosh. This is the fastest dragon in the universe. But this one is going with the wind. Yeah, it can fly underwater, but it will kick me out of the sea. Go, my dragon, go. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. We oh, uh, it killed me. <laughs> it killed. And I guess let's try it again. Oh, another good spawn for the dragon will be up here because it's above ground. Uh, let's try this place. The wind is taking me, no. And I died. Man, the wind is really affecting the ornithopter. Yep, it's really hard to fly in the wind. Okay. Let's try to make our wings flap correctly. Because they sometimes don't flap symmetrically and that doesn't end up in good flying, but they don't seem to want to fix themselves now. They usually work pretty quickly, but I guess the wind is kind of stopping them from doing that. The wind is strong. Let's go into the vortex. Can we maneuver ourselves into the vortex? Hell yeah. That was pretty much perfect. Okay. I guess I'll mark the main map. Okay, so I think that this will end the episode right here. It was an amazing episode of this dragon, although I did not enjoy the first part, which was so much pain and frustration building the first dragon, which didn't even work after all. But it was worth it, because I learned the lesson, let's not, not go too big with ornithopters, because it does not work, at least for me. So this is a dragon, <laughs> it's not very cool. Like, it doesn't fly very well as like controllability but it flies and that's all that matters so i hope you enjoyed this video and like the dragon and see you in the next one good bye can i pull up the loop can i get in hell yeah ouch bye